Hey guys, I'm Volt. Welcome to the tutorial for the uh, free version of the previous shader tutorial where we used Real Tune. This time we're going to be using the free version of Poyomi. Now we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it because uh, I'm going to classify this under my speed tutorial series and uh, this will be a quick one. So we're going to start with what you're going to need. Four things. Unity 2019.4.31F1. You will need this for all of my tutorials. Deal with it. It's what's compatible with everything, specifically VC Face. This can also be used for VNAN, by the way. Um, you will also need UniVRM. This allows you to import your VRM into Uni Unity. Simple as that. You will then need the VSF SDK to export it to VC Face or the VNAN SDK if you want to use VNAN. Or you can still use the VSF SDK to export it as a VS VSF avatar format and so then still use that in VNAN. Doesn't matter. Uh, and the last one is Poyomi. Poyomi 8.0 specifically, it's free. You can go to the Discord if you want to pay for it, whatever. We are using the free version today. Now, once you have all that, we can hop over here. We're already in Unity. This is a uh, previous setup from another tutorial. Going to go ahead and drag our model over here. So to import all that stuff, you see right here, Unity 2019.4.31F1 is the we're version we're using. If you, to install all your other stuff, you just take them, drag them, drop them right into this little area here and you're good to go you'll know you have unity vrm installed properly when you get the unity gltf and vrm zero little toolbars up here you'll know you'll have the poyomi installed correctly correctly when you have poi and you'll know you have vnan or vsf sdk installed correctly when you have both of these folders you don't need uh, both of them but you do need either or i use vsf sdk it also works for vnan for this specific uh application so we grab our model, we imported it. This is a stock Vroid model. This is how it looks, bone stock. And uh, we're going to do two things. Firstly, you are going to take my spotlight that I'm going to include down below, because you will still need that. It's free, don't worry about it. You can get it from my Patreon, it's all free. Don't worry about it, just grab it. Import it, drag it and drop it into Unity here. Uh, once you have that, I'm actually going to uh, Drag it and drop it off of mine because I know that one's proper. All right, so I just uh, drag and drop the the spotlight that you're going to get below. I dragged it onto this model. If you see right here, make sure you drag it onto the model. It will also, it'll appear in here. It'll appear under, um, I believe it's under plugins, it'll be under spotlight. Um, once you drag that onto your model, you'll know it's on it as if, uh, as when you can collapse the model, it also collapses the light. It might be, it may be actually just be called spotlight. It may be just be called light. I renamed mine. I can't remember what it is stock. I'm pretty sure it's just called spotlight stock. And uh, this is what you'll get. You won't get the room. Obviously, this is just a tutorial room for the 3D room. If you want to know how to do 3D rooms, check out the other tutorial. Just got done recording that one as well. Um, so for this, you get the light. And now we're going to start texturing the model. As you see, it does have shadows by default, but they are not nearly on the level we need them to be. Uh, now with Realtune, the shadows will look better, but we're going to get them 99% there for free. So we're gonna start with the face because that's where I like to start. I'm gonna click on the face. You can also just come over here and click on face. And uh, it's under the face skin. And we're going to drag in. Once you uh, install Poyomi correctly, you'll have this little drop down right here. Poyomi 8.0. Yours will say uh, Poyomi Tune. Click on that one. I deleted mine on accident. Don't worry, world has the same stuff as Tune does. You can use world if you want, it doesn't matter. Uh, first thing I like to do is I set everything to cut out for all the textures for the model, just in case I don't know if you made the ears clip right here. I and they're supposed to be transparent. This will make them transparent. Uh, this will make your little texture you fixed, whatever you know what I mean. It just sets to cut out. If you have any problems with opaque, you just cut out. Um, first things, first steps is under shading and color normals. So color normals lets you get your skin texture the way you want it. I like to go for more like realistic skin texture and then uh that's all i need here next one is under shading light data and then 
this bottom one here, this top one just controls the skin color and the top, uh, the bottom one controls shadow color. So Poemi by default now with 8.0 supports ray trace shadows. So these will all be in real time. And I also like to use uh, the realistic uh, base pass shading here. I don't really know if it changes anything, but I like to use it. Um, and then the gradient here, which is how you get like uh, the soft and harsh shadows. So if you bring this in really far, you'll see it get really sharp as far as the line go, or you can bring this one bottom one closer. So it gets like really like anime like, and if uh, you can play with these, get them how you want them, make them more soft. This is how I like to keep mine more on the soft side, but not too soft. So you could, this brings them softer and this chooses the position of where it's the shadow actually is. So if I want the shadow there, but I want it softer, maybe, oh, maybe even like a, uh, Bring it in a little bit more. Bring these closer. Nope, that's too much. You just gotta play with it. Something like that. Looks good. Now, Poyomi doesn't render it as good as Realtune. You still will get these. This is going to be, you know, back here. You won't really notice it from here. But if you are super close, you will notice these lines. This is what... Uh, this is what Realtune does better. So this is what you can look forward to if you want to ever pay for Realtune. Real tune can come in here. We'll go ahead and delete the outline. Use the drop down. And then we'll go to shadow. 0 0.7, 0 0.5. I know my exact specs I like to use. And you can see Real Tune just does it a little bit better. And here's Poyomi. Don't worry about the skin color. I didn't adjust the skin color in the other one. But. It's just real tune does it a little bit better, but you can still get these shadows really close. And now I also like to mess with the uh, the eye whites because as you see, they are a little funky. So we'll give those Poyomi as well. And then you can do one of two things. You can keep it how it is and edit the um, the color of it. But I know a lot of people don't like to have that like pupil shadow. So we'll get rid of that. And if uh, you want it to mirror kind of like mimic shadows, just come in here and uh, Drop down the shading a little bit, just the, the color a little bit. And that's all you really have to do for the face. Next, we're going to do the hair. Poyomi, Poyomi, Poyomi. And then shading, light data. You know, however dark or light you want the shadows. I like a 0.5, it looks fine to me. And then grading. So we'll come in here, do that, pull it back a little bit. You know, play with this, get it to where I like it. I think that looks good. And you can also adjust the color from here as well. You can choose if you want to change the color. Uh, I just like, just to pull it in, just give it a little bit more color than usual. Same with the uh, outfits here. We're going to do the same thing. Click on the outfit or over here, body, and then come to skin. Boyomi. And we're going to what little light we have. Also, I didn't mention the light when you put it on the model. Move it around. Future me. Move move the light. You know, you can have the light wherever you want. I like to put it here, facing down towards the model and a little bit off center off center. So that way you have the shadows come across the face because if you put it in the middle, you can't really see the shadows. So put it off to the right, uh, off to the left or right a little bit. So that way you can actually see the shadows on the face. Back to the beginning here. All right, where was we? On the skin. So again, shading, light data, adjust colors, however you want the color of the shadow to be. And then we'll go to shading, pull this in. Pull this down. You see the next shadow there. Pull it back. That looks good to me. Uh, the face being a different color. We'll fix that real quick. We'll go to the face. Uh, color normals. Uh, 233, 210, 204. 233, 210, 204. Go 233, 210, 204. That way it's exactly the same. 
and has exactly the same shadows. Now we'll minimize that. We'll go to the tops, do the same thing, Poyomi. And then now this is where we're running into issues. See this black line? Cut out. And now you see how it's invisible back there. Rendering, cull off. Bam, Dunskies. Shading, light data, change the color, shading. Now for this one, I, I do like giving outfits more of a, uh, a sharper shadow, more of that anime-like, just because they have wrinkles and this kind of uh, having a sharper shadow kind of exaggerates that. Maybe we'll make this a little bit darker. And we'll do the same for the shoes, pants, and whatever. And there you go. That's it. Final step. Take the model. After putting the light, giving it all Poyomi, take it, export with VSF SDK, export model, done. Congratulations. You have the free version of the Realtune Shadows. And there you go. You can actually, uh, I'll pull the, the light closer here so you can actually see the effect in action. get close there you go look at that real-time shadows for free all right let's uh go back here hey if you want to see me do this stuff live i do it live every saturday i'm live when i'm live uh wednesday through saturday 4 p.m est on saturdays i on saturdays i do my uh v dev nights where we just do um random tutorials and stuff and whatever gets requested that day or if you want to come in chat and be like hey how do you do this i have no problem showing you so if you want to stop by feel free to um hit me up for questions on twitter i'm always in discord as well as we have a, show, a unity showcase where if you want to show off what you've done 3d rooms you've made environments or what fancy stuff you have figured out we have a section for that in the discord we love seeing that stuff so feel free to stop by message me if you need help catch me live whatever. I've been Volt. See you in the next one. Bye.